And now we got the little ranking. Hold on, let me just. Uh, an automatic bid. Now we're going to do this differently this year. Once we get to this point in the rankings, we're going to show you the first and second teams out, and then where they would go my, on the maybe bracket. Maybe my webcam a little Texas smaller. Texas A&M is number 14, and the Aggies after the loss to South Carolina. Texas A&M, second, second team out. out, and the committee has them ranked 14. So the first team out of the field is SMU. SMU. I go SMU have been doing their thing though. All I'm saying is, does that mean Indiana is not disrespected in this? They are now would say on this bracket, so they are not disrespected. But book to your point. Not in why order. Why, is, Indiana why, is, not why is Army not having the same argument? Why is Army doesn't feel disrespected? They're coming in at 25, straight, straight and they look, schedule. but they look the really schedule, good too. Though, and Indiana's strength of schedule is terrible. It, go ahead, Reese. It, it is, but but I would still say that even Indiana's schedule, they played some middling teams in the Big Ten, which is a higher and they level look of really competition. Good playing they, have, they look great. The higher level of competition than Army has faced to this point. <laughs> I don't like. Let's, it. let's get this up. up. Now, this is really important, guys, because the selection committee has Boise State. Ranked 12th. This would make Boise State, if they project win the Mountain State? West, the fifth highest ranked conference champion. Now they slot into the 12th because they're ranked 12th. If they happen to get ranked higher by the end, then they will be seated higher. But for the moment, they are seated 12th. Who's seated 11th? Who is number 11 in the rankings? Alabama. Alabama. Elimination game for the Crimson Tide. One would think already with two conference losses against LSU Saturday night. Now, number 10. Notre the Dame. Fighting Irish of Notre Dame. Now, I brought up in the open one of the more confounding cases because Notre Dame had the great win at AM. They also had the worst loss on the board, know. losing at home to Northern know. Illinois. They have a know, against bro. Navy, which is a good win. I Brady genuinely think SMU was better than Notre Dame. Up the team I just mentioned being is that just me, chat? Or y'all feel the same way? Y'all leave y'all comments down below in the comment section how y'all feel. They've beaten Louisville, and who would have thought that they would need something I don't think Notre Dame should be up here. On Saturday. If I'm being real, I think. I think Texan A&M is better than Notre Dame, too. BYU, BYU now, I expected that. This is where you have to follow along. They're ranked ninth, but because BYU is leading the Big 12, if it were to end this way, the Cougars, if they win that conference, they would go into the four seed, get a bye into the quarterfinals because they would be the fourth highest ranked conference champion. And this, this one, to me, feels underrated. I, I mean, I look at BYU with a nine next to their name, undefeated with significant win over number 13 SMU, pounded Kansas State by nearly 30 points, turned them over a bunch in that game. I know they've been outgained in a few different games. I understand that, but I look at game control, undefeated, strength of record. They check a lot of boxes. So at nine, that just feels painfully low with what BYU's accomplished. They have the game with Utah coming up this weekend on the road, the rivalry game. Indiana. Ranked just ahead of BYU. The Indiana Hoosiers now ranked eighth, but because BYU pushes everybody down a slot, that would give Indiana a road game to start the playoff at seeded night. Well, this goes to show you that Indiana and the committee really values eye test because if you're going based exclusively on how teams execute on both sides of the ball, Indiana is up there closer to Oregon and they are being football, outside bro. the college football playoff conversation. The now, coach that they have over there right now, brand name, and yes, bro, so far he for show sure said he's a winner. Schedule that's triple dig. Yeah. It's not I, great, I, I like but Indiana. with how they've played and the level in which they've executed at. I think they're appropriately ranked at eight. I think this is what's going on. But I really want the SMU. They have coming I really up think they're Michigan better than Notre Dame. Ohio State. Uh, they're like 10 and 58 all time against Michigan. <laughs> Wonder, this will be the first test about looking at the helmet across the way and thinking, you know, they always beat us. <laughs> and then the challenge at Ohio State. Indiana's remaining schedules in the top 15 in the <clears> country, <throat> so they'll have their opportunities to prove themselves. Ranked Tennessee. Tennessee, how, what, what a first round game that would be, huh? In, in Neyland Stadium. Take the over. Here comes Sig <laughs> There's here no comes question Signetti no. and Take the Hoosiers the into Knoxville. See, that's you like the, the over, I might uh, like the under. Indiana like should feel disrespected. Defenses. Indiana has been scoring a lot of Indiana and BYU. Take Ten the over. Tennessee's got an argument to make right here, though. I mean, they're sitting at eight. I understand that. Uh, or seven, excuse me. I understand that, but there's an argument to be made that their resume is actually better than several other one-loss teams that are likely going to be in front of them, like Texas and Penn State. Hey, and Greg, I, think, Greg, I, I, I gave you Herbie's line earlier, and you, <laughs> you're you totally blown it right matters. back. It, it is matters. It matters. ranking. You tried to say this we last year, and we said you're on a this. On selection. It, it, it's not the first ranking, but it, it's a glimpse it inside what the community is thinking. 
I think the committee's holding the Arkansas loss against Tennessee. Win. And, and, and you know what? Yeah, they I should be holding that loss against And also Alabama, that's their biggest win. Alabama's not, they're in the field. That's a great win. I'm not trying to yeah. diminish it, but Alabama's yeah. not playing See, his best. It, it's a great win, but Alabama's inside. not Just what win. Alabama that's used to be. Yep. <laughs> Indiana BYU is Tennessee. better than Tennessee. Tennessee. Oh also was an opportunity against Georgia State. and could get to the SEC championship game. Going to be a little bit tougher yeah, for Penn State, State to huh? get into the Big Ten championship game. One would think Penn after State. losing to Ohio State. They don't play Oregon, but Penn State, Notre Dame, that would be fun. And Happy Valley, oh. Texas is number five. Alabama and Texas don't play in the regular season as it's stacked up right now. I'm not going to lie, bro. Would go to Austin. And Texas is interesting to me because when you look at their resume and who they played. They got beat up by Michigan, Georgia, bro. Michigan at the time and the AP was number 10. The other one they have is Oklahoma. At the time, Oklahoma was 18. Both of those teams, depending upon how the committee looked at those teams at the time, aren't very good football teams right now. That seems high with their resume uh, so far. Maybe, but I'm, I'm good with Texas at five. Yeah. I think I think it's deserved. I mean, you brought it up earlier, Joey, when we were talking before the show. After you played Georgia, you're beat up. Yeah. And you go into Vanderbilt, they got the win. That they was, haven't uh, beat anybody though. Uh, fair. Well, enough. who have they beat? No, I, it's okay. fair. It's a fair point. Here we go. All right, number four. The Miami, Miami Hurricanes leading the ACC. They they have snatched victory from the jaws of defeat on multiple <laughs> occasions. They are ranked four. They would be seated third. And I think when you look at Miami, I think Cam Ward is going to win the Heisman Trophy. He's been that good throughout this college football season. But he has to be because he's got to make up for some of the deficiencies. Is this thing say he's going to think he's going to win the Heisman Trophy? I still have questions about them running it's the either, football. Can it's they either do Chinti but Cam Ward covers or Travis Hunter. Those are, those are and I would not candidates. want to face him Cam's because probably he's third. The best quarterback Shador. in the country at making plays down the stretch for his team. How about last year? They were one and four in one possession game. Yes. This year they've won three of them, and, and Duke Saturday wasn't a one possession game, but it was a one point game <laughs> in the fourth quarter before. Right. At a certain they, point. But yeah, right. before you know, here's 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 Miami's whole philosophy. What do you think we, we should have be Cam up Ward there, bro? And you don't. Yep. Yes. And yep. it's not a. It works. Yeah, it, 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 <laughs> yeah. it, it is working. It should be up there. Perfect. I don't know about Tennessee. Ranked number three. Some of these the Georgia Bulldogs. So Georgia Notre Dame. is behind the there two we go, Georgia. ten teams. Georgia would be seated second as the leaders in the SEC if they wind up there and ultimately Georgia. win the conference. Big game at Ole Miss. Big game coming at home against <coughs> Tennessee after that. We should be. We and should then be Ole, the top we should be Ole Miss. It's pretty easy. Ohio, Ohio State, State is number two. They would host Boise State to start again. This is worth working. pointing out. Ohio State ranked number two, but because they would not be a conference champion in this projection, can't be seen. So we're going to pause that there, and this is what it is. You got Boise State versus Ohio State, which it looks like so far. And whoever wins that plays BYU. Indiana versus Tennessee, whoever wins that plays Oregon. Alabama, Texas, whoever wins that, Miami, Notre Dame, Penn State. Bro, Georgia got like this shit's easy for us right now. If we stay at three, here, let's see if we stay at three. I'm actually hoping we stay at three. Low key, I want us to stay at three. Because Penn State and Notre Dame got nothing on Georgia. So we beat them. We move on. Whoever wins out of Alabama and Texas. Damn. Because we always lose to fucking Bama. So if Bama wins this, Bama's really going to stomp on Miami. We got to play Georgia. We got to play them. Bro, we got to. Yo. This is, I like to look at this, but I'm not going to lie. SMU is being hold right now. SMU is being hold. And low key, I got Texas A&M and SMU over Tennessee. I really do. I got them over Tennessee and I got them over Notre Dame for show, for show. Penn State, there's an argument. But Notre Dame and Tennessee, for sure. I know they beat Bama, but that game was, that game was sorry. I watched that game. That game was so, that game was sorry to watch. But. Y'all leave y'all thoughts down in the comments down below how y'all feel about the little this ranking thing. Uh it's a solid list, solid, solid. I like it so far. Um We just gonna see how this plays out. We're gonna see. We got some couple games coming up on Saturday, Friday and Saturday. We finna see. Uh yeah, peace out. Like the video, leave your comments and thoughts down below, and yeah.